यहाँ पे फुपो ने सालन में हज मोला डाल के सतिया नास कर दिया बल लेडीज एंड जर्मे खमीर आई विद एन इमरजेंसी बिकॉज रॉक स्टार दे ड्रॉप आ बॉम शेल रिपोर्ट थैंक यू has revealed new information and for the longest amount of time right we have been hearing that this game is going to be big big means massive all oh, just like the lucia bruna as well and we heard that the map is going to be 1.5 times to 2 times bigger and we had reports on that and the reason is the lucia bruna is going to be big therefore she needs a bigger map understandably but right now take two has revealed more details about the game that are looking very very good guys if you get to 500 likes on this video i'm gonna drop the next leak video okay but check this out take two Roll the parent it. company of rockstar games filed a patent which contains a lot of info about the interiors which are going to be in gta 6 the okay. procedural generation of interiors hints at a level of detail and variability that we haven't seen before it looks okay. like in the upcoming game when we'll be walking into a building in the heart of vice city every room every hallway and every piece of furniture will be unique the technology promises an end to the repetitive interiors that have pulled us out of immersion in past titles mm. and apparently there's this video that is very very crazy i want to show you that and how many of you guys actually believe that we're gonna have because for the longest amount of time we had rumors that does say that this game is gonna have 70 percent or buildings that are gonna be explorable oh, shit. we had this rumor for the longest amount of time uh, i'm pretty sure you guys have heard that too but do you believe that do you think that's cap because i don't buy into that because for that you would need playstation 20 my guy imagine right like entire miami here uh obviously it's not gonna be the entirety of miami it's gonna be the down uh, scale version but still though I imagine the entire vice city the state of leonada uh leonida or however you say that Imagine 70% of that explorable. Nah, bro, like that's gonna burn your PlayStation 5. That's gonna burn your Xbox Series X. That I, I don't believe that, but I would love to believe the fact that it's gonna be a lot more detailed. That I'm willing to believe, and that's exactly what we're hearing from Take Two. Check this out. Deficiencies of conventional video game systems. Okay, so they simply explained why this system is needed in the game and why they even made it. It's pretty reasonable, so let's get into the explanation of what the patent is about. The disclosed systems are used to procedurally generate building interiors, which allows the generation of large number of different interiors from a relatively small set of interchangeable part objects. These parts would include things such as floor assets, ceiling assets, wall pieces, and numerous interior items for placement within the room. Holy. Variants of these items can be made available in several color palettes, which can be applied across the parts in a variety of ways. Arbitrary room shapes and sizes, including outdoor space, can be populated using the disclosed system. However, okay. in some advantageous embodiments, this system is applied to rooms of similar shape and size, such as an apartment building where many rooms throughout the building would have essentially the same floor plan. Thus, the wall, ceiling, and floor details can all be mapped to the particular dimensions of those rooms, and the general placement of furniture and fixtures in the spaces would be similar. Accordingly, multiple apartment interiors can be easily created based on the same Holy. interior plan, but with different combinations of parts and colors. This would give the impression of a great deal of- Man, if we if we get to customize our apartment like that, oh, dog, that would be lit. Although I'm not the biggest fan of customization, uh, I just want to hop in the game and I just want to play, okay? That's simply, simply put. I, I'm just a go-in, go-out type of guy. Bruh. I know that that sounded kind of bad, but I, I love to go in and get out, okay? That's uh, that's my cup of tea. Uh, I, li I like to just hop in the game and just play the game rather than customizing everything. I, I don't want to be spending like an hour straight customizing, but a lot of people love that. I'm pretty sure some of you love that, and some of you are probably hit in the G-spot just by hearing this, and that's actually pretty good. And, and if we, uh, uh, but in a game like GTA 6, I guess I can make exception. I, I think I can also spend an hour just like you yeah, customizing, <laughs> customizing my apartment. Bruh. I think I can do that. Like the video if you're gonna do that though realistic variation from a relatively small set of data. The various parts in the rooms can be tagged with characteristic data, such as the property tags disclosed in the previous embodiments. As with the previous embodiments, rules can be used to establish relationships between the various objects. This allows a selection of parts to be grouped together in an arbitrary way. For example, a bathroom group could comprise a group of tiled floors, tiled walls, baths, sinks, and mirrors, together with oh, a damn. light blue and white color palette. Variations on this group could be provided by changing the colors or the particular versions of the tiles, sinks, bathtubs, etc. Yeah. The bathroom classification allows the 
Dog, like if this is like for real, for real, man, it's not just gonna take one hour, it's gonna take 10 hours customizing the entire apartment. The bro. statement of the needed parts, along with the ability to select variations of each of the constituent parts. The metadata for the individual parts can also include different levels of wear and tear. For example, the parts can be labeled high-end, low-end, new, or worn. This allows the creation of a high-end bathroom by specifying a bathroom with new high-end tags, which will select the corresponding objects for inclusion in the room. Okay, so this- Th Yeah, that's- cool and all but would you guys rather this or get like free uh megalodon shark cards right because let's be real we're gonna be having megalodon shark cards they are gonna be after our wallets they're gonna run our wallets dry with this game okay i would rather like free uh free bundles i would rather like free microtransact or like micro that's a bad word but i would rather free megalodon shark cards than customizing apartment man this definitely opens up a world of possibilities for the game's environment extending happen, far so. beyond just the aesthetic appeal while this innovative technology doesn't directly imply that players will have the ability to customize their apartments a feature okay. that as of now hasn't been confirmed for the upcoming title it does Damn. suggest a dynamic and ever-changing world within the Holy. game it also doesn't necessarily imply yeah, yo, i, I want to know like from what uh scene that is like from what game is that like game development footage of some another game it's probably like some render assets uh uh, 3D uh, art, uh, 3D assets from another thing, uh, probably. That the game world will evolve in real time, or that players good. will witness live changes within these environments. Primarily, this system is a tool for game development, designed to streamline the creation process by automatically generating the details of various interiors. This approach significantly reduces the development time and resources required to populate the game's expansive world with a diverse array of detailed, unique spaces. However, this doesn't rule out the possibility of experiencing subtle, dynamic changes within the game's yeah. environment. While it's unrealistic to expect drastic alterations like wall colors changing from one visit to the next, we can anticipate smaller, more natural variations that enhance the realism- Yeah, I, I think we're gonna be stuck customizing our apartment rather than playing the game, bro. Like, that's how it feels like this game is gonna be, bro. But I can see this thing be a reality for, for let's just say, GTA Online, right? Like, for GTA Online, yeah, you're gonna have your own apartment just like how you can have in GTA 5 Online. Okay, I can see this be a reality for GTA six online uh, also for story mode as well let's be real the only thing that we're not gonna be able to customize is our own characters uh, technically we're gonna be but not like cyberpunk right where you can pick the size of your dong uh, and all that crap right basically we're gonna have lucia and jason right i guess customization is gonna be like different clothes uh, and uh, i guess makeup for lucia and crap like that maybe you can get a, her a bbl Bruh. maybe that's gonna be a thing for a uh, that's gonna be part of customization you never know right maybe you can make her strong independent need no man kind of thing <laughs> you can make her like that uh, uh yeah maybe maybe that's that can be uh, that can happen. an immersion of the game world imagine entering a kitchen in the game and noticing different fruits in the bowl each time or finding various combinations of dishes in the sink reflecting the mundane realities of daily life a little mess that's cool and all but all i'm saying here is that imagine every time you log in and you get like hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars not just in gta online but also like you know benjamin or two uh in your real bank account though like the video if you agree you know like i would love a hundred million in gta online and then like a benjamin or two like in my bank account to me like the video if you agree as a brown man i demand for that to happen immediately on a table or slight rearrangements in room decor can make each visit to a space feel fresh and lived in. Also a good example is to imagine entering a building one day to find Damn, it in disarray, good. with clutter strewn about and dirt covering the floors, only to return later and discover it in a pristine state, as if someone had just tidied up. These subtle changes are more- Dog, like, all I'm saying here is that if they give us like a hundred million, bro, we can- we can get a nanny, we can get like somebody to cook and clean, and we can also buy new fruits, you know what I'm saying? Like, like the video if you agree, dog. Like, let's be real, bro. Like, you don't... Yeah, what are we gonna do? Ch seeing, like, different kind of kind of fruits, bro. Like, just give us 100 million, and I'm gonna buy all the fruits, okay? I'm gonna buy all the fruits. More about adding depth and a sense of life to the game world, rather than transforming it entirely with each visit. Let's dive deeper into their explanation of how okay. the system works. The game would generate an interior based on a combination of the usual graph traversal method, a selection of tags, to ensure a consistent I'm not cool
recording the pattern. It says that it's uh, coming directly from the pattern. Okay. Theme to the interior and a particular random number seed, which provides a random selection through the graph path. The graph will provide the universe of possible rooms. In order to establish a particular interior, the designer or game script need only provide a block of parameters that stores a value to feed to each node in the ordered graph. These okay. parameters select the path to recreate an interior. The parameters can range from being a simple on-off, for example, to control an optional rug appearing or not, to any value, for example, to control the number of tins appearing on a shelf or the degree of dirtiness on a door. In addition, to the extent parameters are not specified for a particular node, a random path through the node. In this way, a large number of complex interiors can be created that are plausible because they follow the rules dictated by the graph using a relatively small set of data, for example, the parameter block. The parameter block can store or transmit a complete description of these interiors. The parameter block structure can establish precisely which of the items in the description exist. Okay, that's cool and all, but all I want to know is that when is the GTSX trailer 2 coming out? Right, and recently we had that leak out too, guys. Oh, click on this video on the screen and I will see you right there. Check this out, man, and I'll see you right there.